If you have a Microsoft form with a file upload question, for example, this is a simple form I've set up here, uh, and you want to do something with that file attachment in Power Automate, maybe you want to send it as an email attachment, save it to a SharePoint site, whatever. Um, there are a couple steps required to basically tell Power Automate how to work with the data from that file upload question. Specifically, the data comes in as JSON, and you need to use an action called parse JSON that will essentially translate that into a, an object or, or a data type that Power Automate can work with. So if we look in a simple flow I have built here, when a new response is submitted for that particular form, get the response details, what I need to add is this action called parse JSON. And I'm going to take this as the content, the file attachment question, attach file here. But then this schema is that translation that it needs. Now, one of the things you can do is if you don't want to hand type the schema, uh, you can generate it from a sample. So what we need to do that is, or need to paste into the sample, is the actual response data from the form submission. So what I'm going to do is just back out of this and go to a previous run of this flow. So I have one from five minutes ago that worked, uh, that succeeded, and then go to the response details action and the outputs of that in that attach file here question. I'll just control A and control C to copy all of that. And then I can just go right to edit my flow again and add that parse JSON action, again pointed at the attach file here question, and then for the schema I'll click generate from sample, paste in that payload, and click done. So we can see that that's basically gone through, looked at the sample data, and built this schema which essentially is going to tell it that you know, the file response or the, the response to that file upload question is always going to come in as an array, which makes sense because it can contain multiple files and has to be presented as an array. And that within that, there's it, it has objects. So uh, objects are data structures with properties and properties of a, a name, a link, an ID, a type, a size a reference ID, a drive ID, a status, and an upload session URL. So basically, that's all of the data points that we're getting for that file upload question, which you can then use in different ways to do additional things. But that's kind of the first step is just being able to generate that JSON schema so that you'll be able to use the data in your flows.